How to be rich within the shortest period of time? The million dollar question. The question that concerns everyone around the world. People tend to seek the answer for this question relentlessly and all the financial advisors around the world know this perfectly. But still, is there an ultimate answer for the question, how to be rich? For sure, you can win the lottery or inherit money from distant relatives, like in several movies, but let's be real. Getting rich is not easy, especially if you have nothing in the beginning. On the other hand, you can lose everything if you are not conscious enough about your finances, even if you already have all the necessary resources from the beginning. Right now, I don't want to share with you easy to apply quick methods, how to be rich. To be honest, I don't believe in these kind of techniques. What I believe in instead is hard work, consistency, and also the right level of financial awareness. That's why I would like to share with you right now three simple advices which I think can help you to finally get rich. The best is, no matter if you live on a low level income or maybe you have debts, these kind of tips still can help you to achieve this kind of goal. Now let's see the first one, but before we jump into the details, have you subscribed already? If the answer is that, please don't hesitate to do it and also show some support. Live below your means. Let's be straightforward. No matter how much money you earn, you will always have financial limitations. However, people tend to forget this. That's why we see so many times that celebrities who became rich and famous still go broke. The first reason behind this is the fact that they haven't accepted their financial limitations. They didn't have the right level of financial awareness to understand that they need to be smarter if they want to keep their wealth. So that's the number one reason why you have to learn to live below your means. Otherwise, things can get out of your hands easily. Now the real question is, how do you know if you already live below your means or not? Well, luckily there are a couple of signs and indicators which can help you to figure out the answer for this question. First of all, the amount of debts you have. In this case, we are talking about debts which haven't created any extra money for you. These kind of debts can be considered as liabilities because they take out money from your pocket, like a house mortgage which is for your own usage or a car loan. Another indicator can be if you have emergency funds. If you don't have at the moment 3 to 6 months of emergency fund which can cover all of your costs even if you lose your income sources, then that's a clear sign that you don't live below your means at the moment. Lastly, analyze how much money you can save per month. If you aren't able to save at least 10% of your income, then it's a red flag that something is not going well with your finances. Maybe you make emotionally based purchases without any hesitation or you simply don't look for the opportunities to make more money. I know, answering these kind of questions can be harsh, but if you truly want to develop financial transparency, then it is a necessity. All in all, the first advice is very simple if you would like to be rich. Just learn to live below your means. You don't need to overcomplicate this advice. I learned to live below my means easily. Anytime when I receive my payment, I instantly put away 10% of the total income and I consider this as an amount of money which is completely vanished. For sure you can be cleverer than I was back in the days. For example, you can try to figure out how you can save more money on groceries or how you can cut back on your expenses regarding your shopping habits. All in all, in the end, it's only up to you where you would like to cut back your unnecessary expenses. Work on your income. The second advice if you would like to be rich is the fact that you need to work constantly to increase your income sources. This can happen in many different ways. For example, you can start to look for a new positions at different companies anytime when you feel that you reach your revenue plateau. Maybe you can stick with a company and get higher and higher on the corporate's ladder and make more and more money and we still haven't talked about the side hustle opportunities. You can do some DIY at your home and sell your creations, or maybe you can be a part-time Uber driver at weekends, or you can turn your interest to the world of e-commerce as I did. Right now I would like to highlight that certainly it takes time and effort from your side if you would like to earn money with the mentioned side hustles. But you know, nobody said that this would be easy. 
Luckily, the opportunities are nearly endless and it's only up to you what kind of side hustle would you like to start. You can be the next blogger who will write about his hobby enthusiastically. You can start a YouTube channel and be passionate about all the things what you present for your viewers. Or do you love teaching something like how to play on a musical instrument? Then be a freelancer and make some extra money. That's how things work when you walk with open eyes and constantly look for learning opportunities. The world is full of these chances and people are always looking for sellers, content creators and bloggers who are ready to educate and serve their audience, who truly love what they do and can fulfill all the needs of their followers. It's a fact that all the successful people around the world became rich because they were passionate and enthusiastic about their actions and hobbies. They did something what they love and making so much money was only the side effect of their hard work and consistency. Now here is my suggestion for you if you would like to get rich. First of all, figure out how you can increase your income from your full time job. Maybe you should reconsider changing your workplace or it's about time to ask for a raise from your boss. Secondly, figure out how would you like to start another income source in your portfolio. Try to understand what can be the best side hustle for you, set a goal for yourself and start to take actions from today. It can be nearly anything. Create an online store, write two or three articles to your blog or upload a single video to your YouTube channel every week. In the end, you will be amazed how easily you can make some extra money if you truly enjoy what you do and you are passionate about your actions and you stay consistent. Be consistent and enjoy what you do. The third advice that I can give you on how to be rich is staying consistent. Getting rich is not a sprint, but rather a marathon. It's not something that you can do for a couple of years and start to live the complete opposite after that. It's hard to build personal wealth, but it is very easy to lose if you are not careful enough. I like to use a simple comparison about losing weight to understand my thoughts better. People tend to seek for quick and super effective diets which can help them to put down some extra weight. Some of them are truly effective. On the other hand, they are not sustainable and after the short term successes, it's not rare that in the end these people gain even more weight than they had in the beginning. I believe that getting rich is the same. If you are always looking for outstanding methods which can help you to be rich within the shortest period of time, still on long term it won't be viable. Instead, it is more reasonable to develop a mindset which can help you to stay on track and also enjoy what you do. I know people who learn to live below their means, but they are suffering. I know people who make millions every month, but they hate their job. When you don't enjoy the way you make money, it is easier to make the wrong decisions. That's why people have to buy unnecessary things, because they can suppress their feelings with the fact that they can afford to buy all these things because of their hard work. Sooner or later they will realize that none of their purchases will make them happy in the end. You can only stay consistent on the long term if you truly enjoy what you do. And this is my final conclusion. Getting rich doesn't have to be a painful journey. It doesn't have to be about 24-7 work all day and night and do several things what you hate. Personally, I like to consider this as a game in which I have to collect all kind of enjoyable opportunities which will result me extra money in the end. This is my strategy which worked for me pretty well in the last 10 years and I always realize the more time I spend with the money making opportunities that I enjoy, the better results I will have. So what's next? Well, put the three advices into practice and don't stop until you get rich. So that is all what I wanted to share with you today and I hope you enjoyed my tips regarding how to be rich and if you feel that I missed something then please don't hesitate to leave a comment, also don't forget to subscribe, watch my other videos and see you next time.